It's me, a little girl. Do you have a summer anthem? How does this one sound? <clears throat> Summertime in the building, credit is easy. That's the song you sing all summer long with the secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. It's a better way to build credit. There's no annual fee, interest, or credit check to get started. I like it because you can build credit using your own money. Get paid up to two days earlier. With a qualifying direct deposit, you can get access to your money sooner. Access 60,000 fee-free ATMs. That's more than the top three national banks combined. Start building your credit up. Open a Chime checking account with at least $200 qualifying direct deposit to get started. Get started at Chime.com slash bald. That's Chime.com slash bald. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank, NA member, FDIC. Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. On-time payment history may have a positive impact on your credit score. Late payment may negatively impact your credit score. Results may vary. I have something interesting to talk about. I've been reading books. Oh my God. I'm... Has hell frozen over? No, I'm rereading Watchmen for the fourth time. I'm that's also, not reading books. I'm also that's obsessing over a graphic novel. The problem is, um, I do have some obsessive tendencies, and they do pop out sometimes. This is one of them. One of my other ones I'm reading is I'm re-listening. I'm re-audiobooking Doctor Sleep. Oh, okay. it's just so good. Okay. my God, that's it's also so not good. reading a book, but <laughs> you're going to tell me you're also tell that li- to people who are vision impaired. I won't. I'm telling it to you. Yeah, it's, they're not I, saying they're reading books. Well, let's let's sound off in the comments. Is no. listening to a book reading a book? It's not, is it? No, it's it's. I listen to an audio book. Okay, well, I'm reading Watchmen. Okay, which is a graphic novel, which you also don't think is reading. So go ahead and no, read I, me. Why no, don't you read me? No, you're honey? not reading a book. You're reading a graphic novel. Okay, I'm reading a graphic pictures. novel. I'm listening to a book, and I'm reading a book called All About Love. Okay, that now is, we're talking. It's a nonfiction book. It's about- self helpy. But it's about not to be. Why is LA. there a stigma about helping yourself? Because we're in Hollywood and everyone has a jade egg up their pussy. Okay, <laughs> let's be honest. But it's about how um, love in society, Hollywood, the world, mm. history yeah. is really hard to define, and people are afraid to say "I love you" because everybody has a different definition of what that means. Right. And something right. they were talking about in the book that I think is so interesting, and this goes for your relationship with your mom, your dad, your boyfriend, your best friend, your whoever, your Lebanese, your Orient. Love, we treat it like it's a stasis, like it's a, it's a, it's a, a state. fact, it's a state, okay, yeah. it's an is or an isn't. You're right. It is more of a verb. Mm-hmm. It's a part what you participate in. It's what you offer. It's not a noun, baby. Which I find really interesting. It's a verb. It, it I, made me reflect on like yeah. last weekend was my mom's 60th birthday. Happy birthday, Val. Val, baby. I didn't. I get an invite. Six is for sex. No. <laughs> I didn't get an invite and I didn't go because I wasn't invited. But I that ca- sounds like love to me. But I called her on her birthday and I was like, happy birthday, Val. And she was like, yeah, we're just having, and I was like, oh, oh you're just having a you party. You call her Val? You don't call her Val. No, I don't. Okay. Thank God. Jesus um, Christ. Sometimes I do if it's like, if she, well, can I be honest? I'm, this is just shout out Val. So Val, it's so Val. Um, <laughs> classic Val. I called her on her birthday. And didn't realize it was her birthday. And she was like, ah, ah. I said, did you just wake up? Are you taking a little birthday nap? And she was like. Well, I took an edible and then I smoked. (laughs) She was so high and it was her birthday. So I was trying to reach her and have a sincere moment. (laughs) She was not available. And I was like, my mom for her birthday wants me to leave her alone. (laughs) So I was like, you know what? I was calling to be sentimental, but since you're- Since you're on a journey, yeah. I said, make sure you just, you know, well, have a glass of water and yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, have the a good birthday. Gift is, it is kind of humbling when you realize the best gift you can do is not do something. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? And I was like, this is me making love a verb. <laughs> Hanging up the phone and letting her yeah. get back on that horse and ride into the stepping sky. Stepping away. Yes. Stepping away. I'm stepping away with love. <laughs> with love. With love. No, that's avec a, l'amour. Avec l'amour. We, oui, we. Oui. I love, oh, that's the. Who do you love the most? So, wait. Oh, one thing I love is. Um, uh, non-French speaking singers doing French in a bad French accent on on uh, songs. I just recently discovered this genre. It's not a genre. Honey. It's like, you know, Connie Francis does a Spanish language album. Um, you know, thing of that nature. There's a lot of like Eartha Kitt type singers who do like um French songs. Oh, yeah, with like bad Yeah, and it's fabulous. It's so fabulous. I do, love it. Do you know it. about this? Countess Luanne has a song called Chic C'est la Vie. Chic C'est la Vie. Countess Luanne. 
Now you listen to the music you listen to, and you, and you yeah, think that yeah. this is gutted. Do you know why? Because I don't understand the fucking words. You don't like That's, words. No, I don't like their meaning. Yeah. Words are useless, especially sentences. They don't stand for anything. How can they explain what I feel? Madonna writing for, um, Bjork writing for Madonna, bedtime story. Now, if the artist is bilingual, are you cool with it? I don't give a fuck about the artist. I mean, if it's like they put French in, but they're, they, they are an American artist who mostly speaks English, but they speak French and they throw it into songs. Is that okay? Like with Beyonce and Blow? Ooh la no, la. like Debbie Harry puts French in her songs. I don't I'll, care what they put. You can put fucking anything in your song. I just don't want to understand it. Mm. Like, um, um, it's like, what? I don't know, but I love it. That I understand. And it's corny and rotten. It's like a drag queen song. It's worse. It's a drag queen song. It's worse. It sounds like a gay guy high on crystal meth in Palm Springs, wandered into a recording studio and just started saying things. That's oh, what she sounds like. Orville Peck and I came to your house the other night and we held you hostage and we watched Real Housewives yes, clips. Yes, and I, though, I, those whores, I mean, so I've always maintained that, well, I don't know if this is okay to say, Andy Cohen is a pimp and all of these girls, all of these women, these alcoholic women are just whored out for for dollars. But anyways, the um, I know that you participated in the franchise. Oh yeah, I'm so, currently yeah. on it. Sorry. Um, now, I did, listen, that's I, just my outsider I'm on three point episodes of, view. of Salt Lake City, which I've means I think I have my snowflake now. I've never seen the... I've a full episode of the show, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But um, y'all, you made me watch all these clips, and it was so well, wild. I was assaulting you with Orville and I were like brainstorming the the best fights or craziest oh, yeah. moments of every franchise. So you were getting an amuse bouche of like I got a you lot were of getting bouches. like a seven second clip yes. of Nene Leaks going, "Yeah, I'll snap your neck and poke both your eyes out." Bloop bloop. bloop. I, you my, were getting like my bouche <laughs> was very amused because I I learned the origin of some memes. Um, like um, who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna check me, boo? Like, you watch, she watched so old, by the way. Yeah, I remember Destiny in the dressing room at Jacques saying that. Who, check, who gonna check that me, boo? That was 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. but then I was like, what? I'm not in the bathroom cr- smoking crystal meth all night. I was like. Bitch. Holy yeah. shit. Don't talk about my son. You put on a uniform. You yeah. bitch. My she watched, she watched the girls in Amsterdam. <laughs> and then just fighting. Just fist screaming. fights. Screaming. And I'm There's like. something very. Orville and I. Lisa Rinna's face. Just period. Yeah. Orville and I have been having period. parallel low points in our lives. And we dragged you along for what was a very oh, therapeutic I'm right down there with you. us. <laughs> I said, like, I'm, it was, I'm in the it was That's me, where I live. <laughs> me, you, and Orville watching Welcome to Me, yes. which is a very dark movie. Uh, no, it's, it's a very charming movie. It's very charming, but it has a darkness. It has a darkness, for it sure. It has a peculiarity, let's yes. say. Yeah. Kristen Wiig plays a bipolar woman who wins $86 million in the California yeah. State Lottery and uses the money to start her own TV show on a local network in Palm Springs. Yes. With a star-studded cast, by the way, amazing. Jennifer Jason Lee looking haggard. <laughs> Walking into the looking frame, ha- looking haggard like, from Harry Potter. <laughs> Jennifer Jason Lee walking onto set, it, walking into hair and makeup, and then beating them up. Girl, she looked <laughs> her face. She looked like a emoji of a peach dressed up as Steven Tyler. Now, this is one of the greatest actresses I believe of all time. Jennifer D- Jason Dolores Lee, Claiborne. Mama Dolores, Jennifer Jason Lee, just single white female bitch. J- yeah. uh, annihilation. Yes. An- annihilation. She's great in that movie. So good. She, but she walks truly is in this movie looking like who done it and ran it's so funny but it's so funny it's, well she is quite a beautiful woman yeah I, but they gorgeous. for some reason with her character <laughs> she skipped hair and makeup threw, every day no, they didn't skip it there was a they, separate trailer where they threw dirt on her face and then no, no was it just dirt she looked like she had been crying until they said action red nose red Alcohol. eyes and every scene, no matter what the vibe, she looked like she was just yeah, crying. I know. And also pissed. Pissed. Over it. But she plays pissed well. Well, like you, when I I said, uh, right before we started the previous episode, I said, you look great. You're like, ugh. <laughs> ugh. I know. everyone Because everyone wants to fuck me. But uh, it reminds me of the, like, you know, alcoholic nose. Did you know that Melanie Griffith on the set of Working Girl was so drunk one day they had to stop production and they char- they charged her for it? They halted production and made her pay $80,000. Because she was... She was like famously very I kind drunk of, on the, I on the set of that movie. I support them. Oh no, the director's like, okay, we're shutting down because bitch, you can't walk, and uh, we'll revisit this later. You're gonna pay for this whole fucking day, eighty grand. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? What is you look? Why are you looking at me like that? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for, and that's well, that's a lot well, of fucking money. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of money, especially. And I wonder about what were the dynamics between she and. Sigourney Weaver, who I kind of assume to be a consummate professional who's not showing up to work drunk, especially on that movie. Maybe I could be wrong. I don't know. A lot of people have 
We just don't know about everyone's I know, situations. But, but isn't that fascinating though? Because I've been a fan of that movie. I had no idea. The difference is like, if you're a PA on a set, mm. you could go to work hungover, drunk, yeah. stoned, in a bad mood, yeah. underdressed, yeah. tired. Yeah. You can go to work with so many different states yes. going on. But when you're the star, you have to hope for your, you have to be your best state at all times right. to make the movie good so everyone can make money. Right. So it's like, a huge, huge pressure. And if you're Melanie Griffith at the time First and she's team. struggling with alcoholism, it's like, team. it's like all this stress, yeah. all this pressure. Um, I recently had a stress, um, let's say boil over and yeah. a boil, a boil over oh, a boil of stress over. Oh, okay, more than yeah. maybe I've ever felt. And a what doctor had me? prescribed me 0.25 milligrams of Xanax, which I think is a quarter the size of one milligram, which is what people take. Yeah, I took a I, half of one. I, that wouldn't even like, I actually. took a half of 0.25. So what is that? I have to booty bump that to four, even get five. So you took, you took a, you thought about Xanax. You, uh, but you I took, thought hard about Xanax. But I've never take drugs. No, I so know. I, I took know. that I'm, tiny I'm amount. It dead. did take me from panic spiral back okay. to, all right, I can manage what's going on. Okay. And then I thought, I can never take this again. That's a great lineup. That well, okay. The effect was so like not immediate, but the turnaround. No, my POV, my outlook was so shifted, and it felt so real that I actually was like, "This is why people become Xanax addicts." No shit, ho. I because don't want to be ignorant, chemically dependent. But when you've never taken really drugs like that, you're like, "Yeah." I mean, I've taken stupid party drugs when I was like 21, but. I never taken a prescribed pill from a doctor for stress. And I was like, that, that comes from a lab where you know what it is. People yeah. get it. So I put that, put that back high on the back shelf medicine cabinet. I was like, unless I reach some kind of major crisis in my life again, mm. I, that has to be the last ditch effort in life for you, for me, for you. Yeah. Because I'm, that really scared me how much it mm. made my outlook. It didn't just make me feel like everything was better. It made me feel like everything was genuinely better. I was like, it's not the pill. Everything's fine. And I'm like, then later I was like, no, that was the pill. And that's why people get addicted to Xanax. Yeah. It just, it woke me up to the possibility of that very slippery slope. Very well, slippery, slippery slope. slope. Because, well, because our, our life is our, our life is our perception and right. our perception is chemical. Uh huh. So if you alter, you have a chemical alteration in the perception of your life situation. It's right. an instant shift. And the only really chemical experiences I experience now are maybe a Celsius. And coffee up a the cup ass. of tea. Yeah. Or... A sugar cube up the ass. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, you know what? The caffeine. Um, there's a, there's a, a good amount of research out there that caffeine is actually caffeine is a good enhancer. It's not like um bad. Are you well, caffeine, at me like that? It gives you a there's you a very like light rush of euphoria with caffeine, especially if you're not used to it. I really? remember the first time I worked at the mall and somebody bought me a Starbucks refresher, which is a green tea caffeinated drink, mm. and I remember being like. I'm in a great mood and I have tons of energy and being like, you're so fucking weird, bitch. No, you're so fucking weird. Ms. I was like Bibby, 22. I Ms. never Little had coffee Bo in my Peep, life. 22 little Bo peep, Miss little Bo peep with your staff and your sheep. You're so sensitive. By the it's way, crazy. I love that. I love like, that. I'm, it's I love so that crazy. I'm, I'm using to you about drugs now. Well, because it's like, I thought about Xanax and I was like on the floor face down, like 0. 0.00025 milligrams of Xanax. And you were like, but for me, if I'm like, having a hard time, know, I'm just, you know, I'm having a hard time. Weed can make it worse. Yes. Yeah. We doesn't make um, things better for me. Either. No. Uh, caffeine can make it worse. Like if you're spun out, if oh, you're yeah, anxious, yeah. You're not it's worse. Putting fire with fire. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah. Well, think about his panic disorder. So anxiety disorder and panic disorder, people, people are often prescribed Klonopin and Xanax. Um, and they're, it's a, it's for anxiety attacks. Mm -hmm. They pop a Klonopin, pin, a K pin. And then it's like, whew, and I watched this documentary. You better lay low. <laughs> yeah, they, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You better lay low. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain says, you no, better lay low. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, Karen, Kalani, Zanny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for holding down the fort. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Um, but it, it, it spooked me. Yes, well, it is spooky. A quarter of a also, half quarter dose. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, this is a powerful are drug. It's me, a little girl. Do you have a summer anthem? How does this one sound? <clears throat> Summertime in the building, credit is easy. That's the song you sing all summer long with the secure Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. 
It's a better way to bill credit. There's no annual fee, interest, or credit check to get started. I like it because you can bill credit using your own money. I don't have a lot of money because I'm not allowed to get a job because I'm not 18. I'm just a little girl. Get paid up to two days earlier. I'm not very patient. My mom says that being patient is a virtue, but that's not me. With a qualifying direct deposit, you can get access to your money sooner. I have a lot of things to spend money on because I'm a little girl. Access 60,000 fee-free ATMs. That's more than the top three national banks combined. I can't name the other banks because <laughs> I'm just a little girl. Easily find one near you with the Chime app. And you can pay your friends through Chime no matter what bank account they use. Cash out your money fee-free. Start building your credit up. Open a Chime checking account with at least $200 qualifying direct deposit to get started. Get started at Chime.com slash bald. That's Chime.com slash bald. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank, NA member FDIC. Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. On-time payment history may have a positive impact on your credit score. Late payment may negatively impact your credit score. Results may vary. Benzos are very powerful. They're very addictive. And also withdrawal from benzos can be life-threatening. That's why you can go, that's why insurance accepts like um, rehabilitation for alcohol and benzos and some other like heroin, like things that you can actually, where withdrawal is a is a physical Well, we issue. have friends who have struggled with that exact we thing. Do. We do. And they can't just magically stop. No, because you have crazy, I watched this um, uh, recently that uh, I think it was all about benzos, Xanax, Clonopin, whatever, mostly about Xanax. And so there was a whole, there was a few different illustrations. Some people who like, uh, one girl who's like, I, you know what? I realized I just, I need it. I, I don't need it, but it helps me. Mm -hmm. And my life is manageable with it. And I like my life with it. And it's a small dosage, whatever. And then there's a whole range of experiences, but girl, if you have no other tools. Tools, tooltinas. Tooltina. If the only toolbox if the only thing in your toolbox is the Zanny or yeah. the Kwani or the whatever, then that's, I think, where you're up Shit's Creek because once the toolbox is empty, it's Niagara Falls. It's a stepping stone. It's not an island to settle settle down on. You know what I yeah. mean? Now, I like, think we street should, drugs are better. Now, street drugs are fine. No, because you know what they, I'll do? I'll go down to the Union Station. <laughs> Somebody will sell me pencil shavings. Thank you. Yeah, because doctors don't know what they're talking about. They I want a doula with meth. Yes. <laughs> Give me a lukewarm spoon. No, that's horrible. Mom, I watched a fentanyl documentary last night while I was eating my Thai food. That's crazy. Ooh. That's crazy. I mean, yes, you it's You better horrible. lay low. It's horrible. I really, I know we've talked about this. I don't like, I fentanyl? don't like, I don't like. Fentanyl? No. Oh. I don't like that people who have like chronic pain in some states can't manage, can't access marijuana. Mm -hmm. But people will just give them pills. Pills, 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 pills. But pills, marijuana pills. will kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not even like Laganja, like, ooh, the weed. Like, <laughs> I've done weed, but I'm not like a weed person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to be a weed person to acknowledge <laughs> that it's less risk for people. Also, we don't. you don't have to be a weed person to acknowledge the severity and the... Um, also, well, I mean, you know, this is not... It's a business, period. It's a business. That's like colleges. You've got to remember. Education and healthcare, the two major, the two major fucking bugs of this country, education and healthcare... Business. Business. Colleges are businesses. Mama, that's bullshit. When I had to drop out of beauty school to go to drag race, you better I drop remember out. they were like, okay, bye. Yeah. Zero. <laughs> Zero like, are you sure? You've done so well. You're so close to <laughs> the like, end. Like, kick the door and you have so you much with talent. It. They were like, all right, great. Just clean out your locker and disinfect your headset. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, bitch. I was like, work. You better get out. Yeah. Do you get your, you don't get your hair. Do you miss getting your hair cut? No, but I do. I, I'm so, okay. No, I do not. I don't for, either. I always, it was always a point of extreme anxiety. I would probably need a Zanny or a, a K-pin before I went to the hair salon. Because first of all, if it's a guy, a gay guy, oh my God, they want to talk about vacations. Where you been? So where you been? Where you going on vacation? It's like, I, I, I'm, I don't go, I go on vacation. It's like crazy. <laughs> they like, do. They do. The, so where you going? We went to, and then they tell me about their vacation. I don't care. And it's like, well, we I, went to the islands. We went to Cuba. I'm the like, talker in those scenarios. What? I'm the talker in the haircut chair. When they're like, so how have you been? And I'm like, well, my mother. My mother called, just yeah. passed. Yeah, No, <laughs> not that, but I launched right into my relationship, my career. Especially oh, so you're doing therapy. You're do, using the chair no, as the therapist chair. No, no, no. Uh, like when I was, 
I would always talk about doing drag because as soon as I say, oh, I do drag for a living, they have a million oh, questions. God. And then every time you get your haircut, you're talking about drag. Are you, but are you getting a lineup with a, with a straight guy in a barbershop? Straight guys are good barbers. No, I didn't say they're not, but I'm, that's why I would go to a straight, I would go to a barbershop and get a lineup by a straight guy, not a lineup, but a fade. You know, you would do way, lines. way back in the way. I would do lines in the bathroom while he did. Was, no, were you guys doing coke in your bathroom? <laughs> were you doing cocaine in your bathroom? Like, <laughs> So funny. Well, at least I'm not in the bathroom all night doing crystal meth, bitch. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It is crazy, but back to the barbershop. Um, the, also, I love, uh, back to Housewives, I love, <laughs> fuck everyone. I love, I, I'm, there's something wrong you with me. You better shut up. I love, I love on Housewives when they check each other with the cameras on and go, well, let's not talk about that. Yeah, yeah. You know what you're, we're not going to talk about. Like, your husband beats you. And then he kills himself. Yeah. Keeping a light on the pod today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You Have we ever kept a light on this path? <laughs> Has anybody listened to us for hope? For <laughs> glimmering hope? Are you kidding me? For lighthearted fair. We are people's Zanny Bar. <laughs> we are the K-Pin. We are the fentanyl sometimes. We are the fentanyl. <laughs> I'm the fentanyl patch you put right in the middle of your forehead before your afternoon nap, honey. <laughs> After your coffee enema to calm down. You wake up sunburned Ooh. and you pull the patch off. It's the only part of your body that's not sunburned. Pulling the patch. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling the patch. Chopping it up. No, now, who do you love in your life the most? I'm going to go back to your question. I'm going to answer it. I used to hate getting haircuts okay. because of the conversation. I just, I, I would, I would listen to me. You got to listen. We are mentally ill. I know. Like it's really. No shit. We're going to look back on this and be no, like. I'm not looking is back. Is it weird that we flaunted our illness? Eyes forward. Eyes for forward. years we don't look instead back. of a Addressing it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but so I. But so I. That's why when people are, they're struggling, they're going to Turkey. I'm like, girl, go to Turkey. I'm sitting pretty, bald headed. I love my little. <laughs> I love like doing it myself in the in the shower every other day. I love it. I love it too. I love it to do it. By the way, the money. I love being bald. A men's haircut in a kind of nice salon, even a head shave. I go through hell at the bucks. salon. I go bucks. through hell there. I go through hell. Touring. Floyd's barbershop. I go through <gasps> hell at Floyd's barbershop. Can I tell you something? And then they give you a horrible massage. They don't want to. Oh, oh, the best is the. Let me. Let me and they do the. Zzz, the best is when horrible. they just like. Oh. It's so half-assed because they don't want to be gay. Yeah, yeah. It's right, it's we, horrible. Yeah, it's it's like, it's like I, no homo, but I have to do this or my manager will have to fire me. Yeah, I love when I was in beauty school. I loved giving head massages. I would use an essential oil and I would do a cross on your scalp. You're very good with customer service one on one. Um, like he just he just did some makeup stuff for me, and the two techniques he mentioned are so so good. And I've been a makeup not professional, but you know what I mean. Like I've been working with makeup my We've whole seen. life. We've seen. Yeah, we, we know what's up. But you're very good in that arena. I think you would be you would succeed extremely well. Your makeup you is you, so draw, you draw looking. circles around the holes. <laughs> now, what about, can I say, can we just talk about, we have to put a stop to something right here on the pod. What? We have to stop drawing nostrils on bigger than Jack. <laughs> we fucking <laughs> have to. Jackson. We fucking Who have to. Who started it? Honey. Who started honey. it? Honey. Cocoa Munch is a pearl. Yeah, do it. Like, what? Two, now I'm a girl. Tri- now I'm, I'm a girl. Because oh, women have now, giant triangles well, for have nostrils, brown right? Brown circles and then black, um, uh, black. craters. Yeah. James Mansfield Who does did it? it. Who did it? Who did it first? Pearl did it. It needs to stop. Her and I'm open to people's it, creativity, but at some point we need to put the brush down and just step away and go, do I need big triangle black nostrils today what, to be what, a woman? I'm actually asking because I really don't know. What is the point of I it? I think it's to make the nose appear smaller. And why do we want that if necessarily? If your lips are bigger, your eyes are bigger, you can make the nose holes bigger so that the nose itself looks small in comparison. Now, why ain't you doing that? Because you don't want to look crazy, Right. Um, well, I, as far as nose makeup, I don't think I'm in a place to criticize anyone. Well, because you do a white stripe. Mama, it's a white worm and chocolate pudding. A w- we know what it is. We know what it is. A it's white a white wor- crayon that's been thrown white in the mud. worm and chocolate pudding. So why don't you do little crispy cr- cr- uh, crackers? Can I um, say I've never done it? I know you Watch, haven't. Watch, what if I do it? And it and looks amazing. I, well, no, what if I walk into set and it's black <laughs> out fucking holes? No, it's the whole, it's the whole like. I thing. use Hollywood prosthetic one, makeup to make the nostril. septum gone. Yes. Like a long time Coke user. <laughs> oh, bl- oh, blowing out um, uh, uh, chunks of tissue in the shower and, and pushing them down the shower drain with your big toe. That's tough. Catch it. That's tough. Yeah. Tough. The nineties. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah. Limelight. We got to stop drawing the nostrils on like. It's not that they, but they're doing it for the, like a, a, a Michael Jackson illusion. I don't know why they're doing it because it's not because he had a nose like that. No, but it's not. It's not 
feminizing. It's not beautifying. It's not. It's 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 mortifying. <laughs> it's it's surgical. It feels surgical. It feels yeah. botched. It looks botched. You know, I will say if you're doing it for maybe a character that has a severe nose. That's what I'm talking about. Janet's Because Coco, Coco Montrese does, does it. it for Janet. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Because she's got a Jackson nose and those are like sharp peak mountains with big giant whatevers. I mean, but, no, no offense to the Jacksons. Of I course. think the, you know what it is too. What? I don't, I'm so okay. Boomer with drag. I'm the Gen X of drag. You, if I'm Gen X, you are, you remember the beginning of Jurassic Pioneer Park? Pioneer wagon. Remember the beginning of Jurassic Park when they're at that dig and the helicopter comes on and they go cover the site and they're covering the dinosaur bones. That's you. Well, who do I love the most? Who do you love the most? Um, it's so, not a competition, but in your really life, who, who do you love that's meaning really, any type of love? That's a really good question. Now, the book I was reading defines love as- A the, verb. No, the willingness to extend oneself for the personal or spiritual fulfillment of another. Somebody you just would go for because you want the best for them. I think that really is love. Oh, well, I mean, it, not sex. No, no, no. I mean, sex. romantic can be included. Yeah. Let's say you had a husband or something. It could be that, but. Well, we were, when we went on our walk the other day, we were having a really lovely discussion about, about like this. We walked around Lake Hollywood, the reservoir. Gorgeous. Very weird for us to hang out. Very strange. I kept waiting for someone else to no get cameras, there. No cameras. No cameras. <laughs> but I was cheating out. <laughs> you were cheating out. You were not, we're so no used to being on camera. She was, I was like, like, RuPaul, what did you say? <laughs> yeah. uh, she brought her own ring light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but it was a. Uh, I, it got me thinking. I was like, I don't. Um, when I fall, when I, when I when I develop s sharp, intense, all encompassing like uh, love feelings for people. Oh my god, I would I would clown, I would uh, climb K Kilimanjaro for them during the th three days, of course. Sure. On the fourth day, she ill, and I'm not. I'm no longer interested. You do fall hard and fast. Hard and you fast. You hit the but ground and bounce I, though. But then I sizzle and it and it's it's a dry and then it moves. You know. But um, I I. I was going to see my like, family, but I don't, I mean, I love them, but I don't, you know. But rank them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I think, think romantic, you probably. Because I think romantic love is different. We tend to be like one or all, but yeah. with siblings, parents, friends, oh, yeah. it's endless. Well, I would, I would, I would jump in front of a bullet. I would put myself, sacrifice myself for any member of my family. Even my parents, they're very old. Um, uh, does 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 age affect it? Because my thought would be yeah, cause Graham the, for you, right? Like the youngest. Well, he would go first. Like, he like would, you would kill him first. I would kill him first because he don't know nothing. Right. <laughs> He's not going to hold a grudge. And you babies know, go to heaven. Yeah. And plus, you know, it frees up my, my brother for, you know, and no more gift giving at the holidays. Thank hello, you. Hello. hello. My checkbook got a little heavier. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the, I would say like my, my sibling there, we have unconditional love. Like that's kind of built, that's built in though. Of course. But it doesn't You're really, right or die. it doesn't make sense though, because we're not, we don't hang out with each other. We, we're not in constant contact with each other. We know we're there and we'll see each other periodically. We can check in and everything, but we, we have a, like a, you go in your room, I go in my room. We know we love each other kind of vibe. It's right. not, we didn't start hugging girl until later. But when you started, life. you didn't stop. And then for a year, <laughs> <laughs> for the list, for the listeners in their cars, what I was, um, you, you'll be spared that little detail. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, I would say I like, um, you're the baby, right? I'm the middle. Oh, you're the middle. Yeah, Your yeah. sister is younger. My sister's younger. Your brother's, brother's older. older yeah. yeah, but only there's only five. There's only six years between us all. Wow. Two, three years apart. Yeah. Um. So now we're Pat all. I was like, let's do it. And let's do it quick. Yeah, and she's like, I got to go to China. I got a bike to ride in China. Let's right. get let's get these fuckers um raised. Um. I don't know. I I. That's a really. That's actually a, kind of a depressing question, really. It don't think of it as who would I die for. You went straight for who would I take I a did. bullet I'm for. I'm like Romeo and Juliet. It's not about death. Yeah. Well, I love you for sure. Like love, but love you too. And also, that's a long relationship. That's a long relationship that, you know, there's there's. It's about money. It's about money, but it's also no, but it's not about money. It's about, it's about quality of life. It is honestly. We don't really ever talk about this. You could pretty much call me for any reason. Oh, insane. And I would drop absolutely everything. The very few times that you've actually called me like looking for some kind of help, I'm like, are you kidding me? I throw the baby out of the yeah. window and I'm like, you're you're like with yes. I, like, have I you seen that scene I, in Twilight where she throws the baby in the fire? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I throw my baby in the fire, I take my dick out of the whore and I just run. I just run naked, boned <laughs> up, like murderer. You show up with yeah. the climax. <laughs> yeah. The needle still, still in, in the, the dick. dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The pookie flies out the window and I'm ooh, wigless down the you street. You stole a car, <laughs> even though you have one. Yeah, it it, it's a stick shift, can't drive it. Ooh. You know, yeah. I would love you live kind of up the Hollywood Hills. I would love Huck. to I would love to build an emergency um zip, zip line, line to my please. house. Oh for my God. Just in case. How about a channel? 
I guess it's just a tunnel. But it's a hill. It's gravity. I know, but maybe underneath. I said tunnel as if there's a channel. Oh my God. You want to die down there? Mama, the big one is coming up, honey. Sweetie, are you prepared for the big one, Miss yeah. le, le Big One? That's why I use Pure for Men. <laughs> pure for Men. By the way, I think you have to take about seven or eight of those tablets a day. Ma- it's crazy. Mary- how many- and they work. They work. I know people who swear by them. I took four today. But it's I'm like, going to re- report back. It's, uh, I know people who have been taking them for years. It's it's a fiber supplement. Owl okay, let's it. just talk about a fiber supplement. I want to talk about anal sex right now. Because I just... <laughs> <laughs> So I got to tell you, today's episode is brought to you by our friends at BetterHelp, and nothing is better for you, your soul, your body, your life, your relationships, your relationship with work, your sleep, your eating habits. Nothing is more holistically better for you than engaging in therapy. I can tell you that sometimes at night, I can become frigidly afraid of things that have not happened and have no reason to happen, but I believe they could happen. And that could be enough to whip me up into an absolute spiral to nowhere, okay? And it could prevent me from being able to enjoy my life. The other night I was at a concert and the idea that something was gonna happen that was not going to happen was so preoccupying and I was like, girl. It turns out a great way to make those racing thoughts go away is to talk about it. Therapy gives you a place to do that so you can get out your negative thought cycles and find some mental peace. I can tell you from my experience, being able to just vent and scream and cry and and then at the end of a session be like, well, what should I do for the week? What's my actionable thing that I can think about when these things come up this week? And it really just gives me a starting point. It, it gives me uh, somewhere to start when this happens again. Something else I love about the broader benefits of therapy is that instead of using your mom, your coworkers, your partner, your mailman as your therapist, you can present them with the best version of yourself where I, I just always feel like the people I love deserve the second draft. They, del- they deserve for me to sort out my shit somewhere else so I can give them the educated, enlightened version of what I'm struggling with. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's totally online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch at any time for any reason. I switched therapists just because the time wasn't working. It was a time zone issue. I couldn't get up at four in the morning and I didn't have to explain that. And it was great. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash bald today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. I had, this is gross. I had I had flaming hot diarrhea the other day, okay? And that got in the way of of my plans. I had planned to stick something on my ass because I said, you know what? You haven't had anything up your ass lately. We don't, the, we don't want the hole to close up. I considered myself the top because that's what I prefer, but I also would be like, whatever. And there was some flaming hot Cheeto diarrhea coming out of my ass. And I said, okay, now we got to close up shop. Well, there is some light planning. You do have to open your day book. You do have to open I, your Google that's calendar. That's what I'm talking about. A moment on the lips, it, it's, a it, lifetime it, on, on the, the dick. Hip, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of the, the rule of thought for bottoming. Yeah. And also I, I, diet, it, it is a, it's a lifestyle. It's like it's being a keto or something. It's a li- Thank you. It is. It's a lifestyle. And I am sorry. Like I- That being said, we just had Taco Bell for lunch. Both I, of us. But I'm not going to go Bofa. get- Bofa. Fuck, Bofa? But I, do you notice I had I'm one bean burrito and then ate four Pier for Men? I didn't notice that. I did notice you had um, a liter of coffee that you squirted up. I'm going to go home and be like, David, I cleaned out. He's going to be like, why? <laughs> What? Who's going to fuck David. you? I like to put on my sexy feminine yeah. voice. Hello, David. Hi, David. I cleaned out. He's like, what? The cap? The, 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 the fridge, the, you the fat pantry. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I cleaned out. Oh, the pantry. The, the earthquake. The earthquake. Um, the, yeah. <laughs> the earthquake supplies. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the problem with anal sex is that you, you didn't well, time it right. Girl, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> it's all it is, though. It's way too much. I would imagine with your pussy if you were like, well, well, pussy. Well, pussy. menstruation. So what? But it ain't I mean, shit. It ain't shit, bitch. Yeah. It ain't shit. And you want to have tough. a baby? Shit is Sometime tough. you got to deal with my pussy blood. But I'm not comparing pussy to ass ownership. No. no. I'm saying. Even if you weren't, even if you had there a pussy, problems. it's not every day. It's your, not a victimless your peak, crime. Your peak yeah. um, hygiene day, I of guess. Course, and of course, you there's know. hysteria about the smell of pussy. But guess what? If you're fucking pussies. Let pussy smell like whatever they need Mama, to smell the like. Mama, pussy smells like the pussy smell like the pussy. Okay? Thank you. We're not going down there for a Glade plug-in. 
Okay. No, we're, we're not going down not, there for it's, like it's not, Tom so, it's Ford, not a Soho uh, Home Cherry Vanilla no, Candle. It's not a Tropicalia Vanilla. No. You know, it's not um, Soleil Blanc. Or it's like, not William Sonoma. It's not Casio Mandarino Di Amalfi. No. It's not that. It's not all it's that. It's pussy. It's pussy, honey. It's, it's, it's not. Snatch is, that, time. is that Aquadigio? Like, no. let it be a pussy. <laughs> is that let your pussy be a pussy. Right. We're also, we're not douching with uh, coffee and we're not fucking uh, spritzing with Mandarino Di Amalfi to Tom Ford up our pussy holes. That being said, yeah. You do love to Febreze up there every once in a while. No, 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 no. That yeah. being the other day, did I tell you about the cologne? Mm -mm. The other day I got in bed and I was like trying to, I got yeah. in bed and I put trying cologne on before bed. He's like, Ugh, I got in bed with David smell? and he's like, did you put on cologne? I was like, yeah. And he was like, why? <laughs> was like, like of a silk negligee on and, oh, and a wig floor, it was and a, in heels. No, no, no. Heels no, it was, a, it was a, um, no, it was a, no, it was a, <laughs> it was a the Christmas Carol nightcap, long linen. I had a candle. Buttons, buttons up to the neck. Yes. A hundred buttons. Yes. Ichabod fucking crane. Yes, girl. He goes, why? And I was like, you know what? That's actually fair. <laughs> this isn't sexy. I assaulted you with cologne in bed. And that's not oh, fair. Oh, like four spritzes like you're going to the nightclub. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy. In the mouth. That's crazy. Well, you ever been to gay clubs where they have all the colognes? Mama. Someone hands you toilet paper. Has somebody hands you paper towel with you, like it or not? And I go, you know, I didn't wash my hands. <laughs> Did you hear the paper you towel? It. You eat it. I hold it up into a plane. I throw it and I leave. And I go, I'll take that starburst you, though, bitch. You eat it in front of them. Eye contact. Unbroken. Totally. The best is when it's like a nasty little gay bar. It's just a gay bar. I've and never heard and, of this. And, a toilet attendant? I've never seen it. I've Mickey's, never seen it. The Abbey. What? They all have it. What is this? 1830? Honey. It's, what is going it's on? It's memoirs of a gay chef. I don't you like walk it. out of the bathroom. You have just... You did Ew. so much coke that you blew ass at the club. And they're and they're supposed to be there to do what? You go to the sink, you wash your hands. Jerk you off? You wash your hands, they give you paper towel. Why can't you get it yourself? And then they have gum, mints, candy, Becky, okay. Mariah. Gee. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay. Da -da. And they also have colognes and perfumes. So that you come back from the bathroom refreshed. Is this the Gilded Age or Mickey's? My problem is I'm not gonna use the cologne that what, there's three or four colognes here and what, 40% oh, of the people here have that on? Oh, like, honey, I'm not no. doing all that. Also, my friend got the, a cheap, she's like a designer imposter perfume and I was like, it's amazing. It smells just like that. And I was like, I'll be the judge of that. I took one with that thing, that $30 thing. I was like, it smells like rat piss, honey. Would you, like rat would you buy piss. her exactly what she needs? Um, what, what do you mean? Buy her the real one. She's hinting um, at a Christmas gift. No, she's not. No, she's saying she loves that scent. She doesn't know yet what true good expensive scents are like because- they do smell better. That I, cheap shit, mama, pink sugar, smells I like was just cat piss right now. I was just talking about this in drag. Like cat piss. Before Take a I, cat and, and squeeze <laughs> and its dick it. into my face. Put a cat's piss on. Yeah. I was talking about earlier in my drag career when I couldn't afford nice makeup, nice brushes, yes. nice perfume was always worth it. But I never knew, I never knew about it. I, because I was using so much. Nice perfume was worth it. I believe nice perfume is worth it now. It is. I because mean, it's a gift to other people. Drugstore makeup can be great. Drugstore hair products can be great. Drugstore nail polishes. Drugstore, drugstore perfume, perfume is never giving. It's it just isn't. Rubbing alcohol with a Glade plug-in. It's yes. like it's like you're dusting yourself with you're spraying yourself with alcohol and have a Glade plug-in in your pocket. Totally. That's what it smells like. And it's kind of a beauty product. I mean, there are drugstore foundations that you could do like the Pepsi challenge, oh, yeah. and people wouldn't know. Mascara. How, yes. Mascara. Yeah. But perfume. Yeah. Invest in the, the one you want. And, and, and it's a racket for sure. Some of them are two hundred dollars. It's crazy. Uh, excuse me. Some of them are four, five hundred dollars. Like some of those Tom Ford. If you want a big thing of Tom Ford, prepare to spend five hundred dollars. Jeez. Uh, but every squeeze, every like spritz, is a dream come true. Yeah. Mandarino di Amalfi. Mary, I want that wild cherry one. I, I have cherry smoke. I got lost cherry. I got all the cherries. I want that lost Electric cherry. Electric cherry. Too. She's not worth a damn though. Oh. Cherry smoke is cunt. And cherry smoke is very cunt. Cherry smoke is cunt over once the cherry's lost, you smoke her out a little bit. I'm not a paid spokeswoman. Have you ever used Scentbird? I, 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 yeah, I did. I, Wait, I am a paid spokeswoman, but not to tell you now. No. It's great because they send you the small versions of everything. So you really get a 30 day supply and then oh. you know if it's worth investing. Yeah. Because you've used it for weeks. Yeah. I like the ones that, um, well, when I was a smoker, most of my life, I would. It was a necessity. It, you would pick a scent to that complement. That so it's always oody, woody, um, earthy. Maybe sometimes vanilla. Because you it, can't do like clean water. No, nothing fresh. No, never anything fresh. You oh, smell I think like we know you never a fresh used anything piece of fresh. Shit. Yeah, no, because once when I, I got into a uh, cab and they were like, like you smell wonderful, like a cigar, not a cigarette, because it was vanilla plus cigarette equals cigar. That's classic. Um, there's this company called Replica. You know them. 
I have it. Yeah, yeah. by the fireplace. Cunt. But yeah. they also make Jazz Club. Got it. Jazz Club, one of the notes Affordable. is heady cigar. Affordable. Very. It's the Margella. It's amazing. It's Margella. Those replica ones. That yeah. by the fireplace Affordable. one smells like you have sat down in a fire. Yeah. In you, a good way. Yeah. You got ash on your butt, bitch. Burning skin. <laughs> Burning skin. Burnt hair. <laughs> Um, I want to talk to you about something. Tell me. <laughs> and how did I know you weren't going to have anything to say? That's so fucked. No, shut up. I do. Who else do you love? Meryl Streep. What, talk about her? Um, no, no, no. Who else do I love? You know what I was thinking about the other day? I always, when I'm in drag, think of Death Becomes Her. By the way, I know a lot of younger queer people haven't seen that movie. Oh, you should go see My it. My God, now. is it worth it? Although, you know My what? My God, is it worth it's, it? It's, it's, it's made by a gay man, directed by yes. a gay man. Robert it's, Zemeckis. It's very... It's it's very anti it's not anti woman, but the man comes out on top at the end by getting rid by unburdening himself of the of the the nastiness and pettiness of womanhood. Well, he's in an unhealthy relationship with them. They're yeah. in an unhealthy relationship with each other and him. It's yeah. a three way bad relationship. It's about yeah. It's it's a girl. It's a girl movie, but the girls are shitty. Yeah, yeah. You know, and there's a part where she takes the. I'm gonna spoil it. The Meryl Streep takes the potion that makes her yeah. endlessly I'm youthful and beautiful. And she goes, I'm a girl. I do that I feel all that the time. in drag sometimes. But recently, I am in drag less. So when I am in drag, I'm so cunted out oh, that yeah. I walk by a mirror and I literally go, yeah. That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> the confidence is so blind and aggressive. Aggressive. That Confrontational. I like, that I turn to someone. I'm like, the fucking nerve of you to be in the room with me right now. Yeah. Look at me. You got mm-hmm. a lot of nerve being here not trying to fuck the me. The sound right guy's now. like. <laughs> is your microphone okay? Yeah. The sound guy's like, what are, are you talking <laughs> about you? <laughs> <laughs> that that white what is it a white worm on a brown mouth? Uh, that white one yeah, that brown that that, uh, <laughs> that wet brown nose with a white stripe through it yeah <laughs> that chocolate pudding with a white chocolate crayon pudding. thrown into it yes I mean I well there's when the hair comes on because uh, I have two hair pieces made by what one's by wigs by vanity the other one is another brand I forget Shame. what wigs what wigs when those things co- wet wigs when that wig oh when she Eden take them out she'll wash them when they're damp I put them on my head and I feel myself. Uh huh. I'm feeling myself. You jerk off? No, she's right there. It's in the studio. Oh, no, okay. Don't jerk off for drugs in the studio. Um, but when you draw the line somewhere. Yeah, no, yeah. But you know, because like the bald headed thing, the Sasha Valor looks very artful. When you have a nice face on a bald head, it looks like art. But then when that hair comes on, it's pussy. It, she, it gives the cunt serves so much pussy. The cunt goes pussy, 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 meow, meow. When it's wet. No, no, no. When the hair is when, all, general, when it's yeah. done, but the, it's that piece though. Sasha's listen. She's figured it out. No, she, it's Child incredible. No wigs. It's incredible. Genius. Like her Genius. versus you. Oh God. Versus a Jimbo. Jimbo. Me a suitcase of wigs. How about Jimbo? Not only the wigs, the giant breasts that need their own luggage. That's disgusting. It's crazy. Not that that's disgusting. The thought of putting on a silicone skin suit every day. Girl, I don't envy her. I've done that. I've been there for some god. That's what off- the aliens are doing. Mama, thank you. Wait, what do you mean? Like aliens oh, pretending unzip- to be humans. Oh, yeah. Every day, them and Jimbo <laughs> are putting on their skin suit and walking out to CBS. Unzip, girl. It's it's so, it's fucking. I have to talk to you about, um, yeah. Uh, Chase Morgan. Um, no. Western Financial Savings. Sasha Ballore doing mm. bald. Yeah. She but can see, travel but, but, and but do gigs not, without wigs and that. Yes. I'm not saying it's easy because she has to put makeup all over her head, of which course, sucks. Right. But, but how it's nice not a, to not have to carry a wig kit. Of course. But the it's not block. pussy cunt cunt though. But the, the works piece, for her. It, oh, she's incredible. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. But she, what she can't do is the thing where you go, oh, this pussy is cunty. You know what I mean? Like She can hair talk, but about, nothing happens. But nothing happens. But when, you put the, when I flip that wig that looks like it's coming out of my head. I feel the tumescence of um, of stiffening boners in the room. Of course, nobody's ever in the room. <laughs> nobody's ever having a boner. But I'm, my imagination is so vivid because the cunt is so fierce. When you're around people, you strap them down and inject Trimix just to make sure they get a boner around you. I, I, I handcuff them to a chair. I straddle them like Coyote Ugly. Uh-huh. I take the Trimix needle, two of them, both hands. Wop, wop. My, my back shots sound like bongos. <laughs> Sasha Belor's on We're Here now. What? That's like a public thing, right? Everyone knows that. Is she Sasha Belor? The new We're Here cast oh, is that Sasha makes sense. Belor. She's probably great on it. I'm Jada, sure. Jada. I think it's Gina, Grishon. Priyanka, and Latrice. That's too many. I think people. it's four. It's too many drag queens. Girl, they're gonna ruin that town. They're gonna. Uh, the electricity is gonna go out. The grid is gonna suffer. They have a different. I think they have a different skill set to offer than the last cast. Yeah. 
the Three Stooges. Well, Priyanka's going to be like, well, here's how we'd handle it in Canada. Canada, yeah. You know? Yeah. And then and, um, um, Lip, Jada's going to be like, uh, um, let's smoke well, a blunt. Have you tried being gorgeous? Yeah. You know, uh, Sasha's Jada's gonna not- shave their heads. <laughs> oh, Sasha's gonna be like, so, so you've been divorced. Yeah. Have you heard about art? You know what I mean? Like she, she takes them to an art museum. Their the mind is we long. have in New York. It's called art. Yeah, totally, totally. Have you been to the Met? Totally. You know, drag does transform lives. By the way, Latrice, yeah, I believe. Yeah, for the worst ho. Let's tr- oh, tr- it's transformed my life in a good way, and then in a bad way. But I think for Latrice, Latrice could help in any situation. Yeah, I would take Latrice. Anywhere with me mm-hmm. to help. a duffel bag full of weed to smoke. Right. Latrice knows just what to say at the right time. Yeah. She has the right vibe, no, she right does. energy. She really does. I think Latrice could solve world problems. She should be at the UN General Assembly. She'd be the youngest person there. And yeah, in the sweatiest. She'd be the fucking youngest person there. I know. Do you feel solidarity around her with the sweat? You have no idea. It's bitch. a safe space. When we were on the cruise together, we were both late for the callback or the meet and greet because we had both performed. She way before me, by the way, or I be, before her. There's no excuse. We were sisters in sweating and it was, I've never felt so seen, so supported, so like um, held. Because mm-hmm. it was like, we were both out of breath. Of course, now she's got 200 pounds on me. Mm-hmm. I'm not really sure. There's a there's an inequality in terms of like the the mm-hmm. why and the what or the quantity of sweat. How are you able to sweat the way she does? Um, it's just well, look, look at my dad. I wish you could. Um, he sweats more than I do. Really? So if I'm, your dad did drag, it'd be over. Oh, he wouldn't even get out of the dressing room. Yeah, he wouldn't even get out of the dressing room. Does your brother sweat? Uh huh. Sister too? Uh, no, not that. What much. about Pat? Pat, um, no sweat glands have all removed in China. <laughs> She's got it figured out. She doesn't. She's always freezing. <gasps> she loves it when it's 120 That's, degrees. You know, in drag, all I do is complain about air conditioning. Out of drag, oh. I'm cold all the time. Oh, see, I'm me I'm and David's mother will be at dinner, and I'll be like, "Who at the table will understand?" I'll be like, "Lynn, I'm cold." She's like, "Yeah, because it's freezing in here." And I'm like, "Is that Thank da- you. that's David, right?" Yeah. Oh, I oh, have I'm my freezing. my apartment or my home is 40 degrees. Oh, 35 degrees maybe. Oh. 30 degrees. Yeah, and I'm literally still sweating. Yeah. David, the air conditioning, it. 40. Yeah. Love Blue it. Lips. Love it. Do you know that scene in Batman and Robin where um, Mr. Freeze's Mr. wife? Mr. Freeze, all his lackeys are singing like, I'm Mr. Winter, I'm Mr. Ice. And he's like yeah, yeah, conducting. Yeah. That's yeah. David. Yeah. And I, I love have two it. icicles for my nose. I know you're the guy in Scrooge, the homeless guy who dies. On that note, <laughs> neuter and spay your pets. Honestly. The fornicate, the reckless fornication, the reckless fornication of the animal animals. kingdom. Now, uh, join us next week where we're going to neuter twenty-five dogs on the air. Bye. Bye. <laughs>